Well, greetings to you all. Well, <laughs> there goes the... <laughs> yeah, they're running people out to the rigs. But try this again. Greetings to you all, wherever you may be viewing from. And welcome to this episode of Bayou Gold Guy. I am Bayou Gold Guy. I'm here with Hurricane, the the Bayou Cat, and uh, he's again. He's still hanging out here, away from the 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 family inside. He's not willing to come in and deal with them yet. So, yeah, he's it made a good shot from. That's where he started. It was over my shoulder here. So, well, we've got a cool bag of pay dirt. That's a, actually a pretty new addition. That's uh, uh, come up on uh, this. For this seller, uh, as y'all saw, it's the, the beginner bag from some gold nugget sales. But before uh, we kick that off, we've got to address the tragedy of the uh, attack on Israel from last week by the, uh, I mean, you know, there's no other way around it. They're uh, the, the, the new Nazi, Nazi Islam. So that's uh, whether you want to call them Islo Islo Nazis, but it is the uh, the Islamic nation has shown its true intent. If there was ever any doubt, whenever we've been, I've been I, my first debate in sixth grade in 1973 was about the Arab Israeli conflict then, and uh, you know I, they should have never, in my opinion, ever let them anywhere on the Gaza Strip, and uh, now they need to level it. And uh, make it a like, uh, make it a dead zone, uh, devoid of of any any life. And uh, it, it, when Syria lobs shit and Lebanon start make make get warn all of them. There's going to be a hundred mile dead zone around Israel of these uh, barbaric desert dwelling scum that have infiltrated now our nation. If you look around, there there are people all over the country and. The libtard, of course, because they are Democrats and they are BLM supporting uh, terrorists here, but uh, in you know the uh, that are that are you know advocating for the you know the extinction of the uh, the the uh, eradication of the Jews in our own country and the uh, support policy, whereas that piece of shit Talib Rashida Talib, who's a part of the you know well-known anti-Semitic and uh, terrorist neo-nazi party there uh the squad with her and uh the brother fucker omar who uh yeah married her brother to violate to bypass uh, <laughs> immigration laws and never no, you know never never think from that but yeah talib is uh uh this that, that 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 barbarian's got the palestine flag in the halls of congress out front of her office and they've, they've passed for the resolution that i wholly support that if uh if it's you know you're you're an American, there should be no foreign nation flags flying in the halls of our Congress, just like these scumbags. There should be no Islamic representation at all in the Congress of or any of our politics in this country. And for a long time, it was that way. If you were Islam, if you don't denounce that murder cult, then you are not fit to be in any of our. Uh, they 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 took the oath on a Quran, not the Bible. Again, if you're if that's what you're going to take an oath on, no, you're not qualified to be in our government, running our country, and and setting laws for our people, because the uh, their agenda is the, the 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 very core tenet is deceit and lies, and uh, do whatever it takes to pro to uh, propagate and uh, further the uh, Nazi Islam cause of. Uh, Death to the Infidels, which is America and Jews. And now we've got over 2 million getaways they've announced. If they announce there's over almost 2 million, you know that there's probably four. And uh, and you're seeing, again, you're seeing groups of, you know, dozens if not hundreds of uh, these barbarian American terrorists that are in our country that are groups, kids with their kids. Uh, you know, no, they're, uh, that they, they, they should, the FBI needs to be tagging identifying all these people and uh, targeting them as uh, potential hostiles in our country because uh, they're, they're all terrorist scum. So uh, 100 support Israel and 100 support them uh, 
wiping out as much of uh of this the murder cult that's been uh you know the 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 nazis took off took out over six million jews uh the the islamic nation has taken out tens of millions of people of every nation and uh uh around the around the world for over 1400 years so it's time to put a stop to it there's no there's no in between it's uh you know either you denounce it and uh you know move on or you'll you'll be targeted as uh the the group that you support and represent which is nazi islam so as simple as that so and uh same thing i'm i'm in you know i'm not with the neocons and these scumbag uh uh warmongers but yeah um Biden's six billion dollars to Iran. Uh, that's already a disgrace. And uh, yeah, they, they why they even have oil rigs that are being able to support their country when we've you know between between Obama giving them pallets of you know hundreds of billions of dollars of raw currency that they've financed uh, terror with, and then Biden promising another six billion release to them that uh, again for terrorism. Uh, no. Uh, wipe them out too. wipe out Syria, wipe out Lebanon, <laughs> clear, clear the board of over there of all of these barbarians that have continued to do nothing but rain death on innocent people. Over 30, I believe it was 34 countries lost people in Israel from this barbaric attack. And, uh, like I said, there's the, 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 the images are just, uh, beyond, uh, you know, subhuman. We can't even call it animals because they're, they are so far below, what we would consider animals that mad, mad dogs that you would put down. Uh, I say, put them all down. Simple as that. I'm not apologetic for any of it. We're and it's showing that the, uh, what the left really is about, you know, the squad should be removed from Congress. They should not have any part in it, uh, ejected. And, uh, they should be targeting these people that are in these, uh, you know, supporting Palestine liberate. Remember the PLO Palestine liberation army, you know the the uh, it's it's always just goes by different names, but it's still Nazi Islam terrorists ranking death across the world, and uh, I think the world's had more than enough of it. And now this is a perfect reason to go ahead and put a nail in the coffin of this shit once and for all, and make it where uh, if you're going to fly that flag, you will be uh, targeted for expulsion for. Uh, any kind of retribution that 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 should be coming forth whether whatever country you're in so like i said it's uh we've had enough <laughs> we've had enough so all right well good luck to uh good luck to the all the there's still over 200 americans uh i mean 20,000 i think it said 20,000 americans that are in israel uh that that are uh uh, DeSantis is going to make it a plan to get the Florida Floridians out and, uh, got congressmen have been going over there, independent, uh, Republican congressmen re- re- recovering people. So, uh, again, we saw that Biden had no issues leaving Americans in Afghanistan when that, with that cowardly pull out. So, uh, you know, there, you know, Obama's the, it was the, you know, uh, Muslim brotherhood. That's why he turned all over all that but at the same time he was homosexual so that's why he uh you know enforced gay marriage across upon the country uh so again the the whole uh contradiction of that yeah you know that you're supporting the people that would murder you and you'd be the first ones murdered and cut up in the streets but uh again while they rape women and men they're they're sodomizing men so they're all you know again they're beyond barbarians even they're just uh uh, like I said, uh, subhumans, subhumans across the board. And uh, there are no civilians over there. It's all combatants because they raised their children to be combatants. The women are combatants. They gave them the notice, get out of here because we're going to bomb you into uh, the Stone Age. And if you choose to stay, then you choose to be a combatant. So like I said, I say level the strip, grind, you know, <laughs> bulldoze the whole thing over. Uh, they don't have, Israel doesn't need it for their people, but it will be left a dead zone and then extended out from there anywhere around a, a border of Israel. So that being said, that's my, that's my opinion down here on the Bayou, but I'm pretty sure there's a, what I've seen, there's a lot of Americans, uh, that agree with that. And a lot of military people that more than agree with it because they've been dying. Do you remember Lebanon when they, uh, when they, uh, blew up our barracks in Lebanon and, uh, killed I don't remember how many hundreds of uh, Marines and the, uh, yeah. And again, it just goes on and on and on again. Don't forget 9-11. 
the, the these were the Saudis and the uh, the same thing, you know, the neo Nazi Islam scum uh, working in. Well, we won't even get into who they were working with to make that happen, but you know, it's the same thing over and over again. So, all right, well, with that, let's turn to the new overwatched <laughs> hurricane. New gold epicenter of South Louisiana here for our October, rather a rather fall like, unusually fall like October day here on the bayou of our beginner's bag. It's the half gram gold guaranteed gold nugget sales. There's Mike, and again, these warned of making sure you're careful that there could be stuff in there that might get you. You just always be aware of it, but there are many thanks by you. I ordered this when I got the uh, uh, other bag, the the other white horse bag. This is not though, but this this does not qualify for the the nugget. It's it's one gram one gram sales of his painters plus. So, but this stuff is uh is for it's thirty seven ninety five for the bag of a like I said a half gram guaranteed. And uh, he said it's, it says it's a great bag to start your journey, and it's made to be easy with 12 to 18 mesh gold, and it's got a good ROI on it. So that's uh, if you buy it by itself, it's 10.95 shipping. But like I said, I went ahead and threw it in with my other bag. So usually you can get at least uh, at least three bags. I think of the of the smaller ones now. That might not be for the. The, the the heavier three gram bags but you can usually get you a three gram and like a couple of ones or three of the the single bags all in the same shipping for the 1095 so it gets them your your shipping costs down per bag makes it worth uh you know instead of just paying 10 1095 for a half gram of gold chips so but uh yeah thought so i thought we would be a good a good bag just to check it out and see I haven't seen a, a video on it out there, but I, I've been missing a lot of videos. But uh, so let's open it up and we'll take a look. We'll classify it down like we were like we are beginning our journey with it, and see what we think. All right, we got us some some water going there. Our Keep America Great knife, although yeah, we're back to make America great again because we could not. Trust the criminal scumbags that stole the election to keep it great. They managed to destroy it in a matter of a few years. So we got to do it all again, but uh, it's already been done twice. Once before COVID, once after, and we'll do it again. So there we go. We've got some, some sandy... Uh, Sandy Rocky material looking in there. I'm seeing some, seeing some organics there, some grasses, a little leaf action. It looks like there's some mica showing up in there. I'm seeing some, some shiny, shiny flakes that are not gold so there we've got a little bit of larger material and i see a little i see a little bit of gold showing up right oh, where is it right there you can pick up on that one so that would be a a cool thing to for the beginner to see first thing is a a bit of gold in their pan and then there is our smaller stuff less than kitchen strain there's a pretty good amount of that in there so let's i guess we can start with our we'll go ahead and start with our bigger stuff and then uh again if you had a next next size up you could classify these bigger pieces down but I think they will probably those will probably wash pretty quickly away or out. I don't think it's a real heavy material there. 
So it's and for beginners, I would imagine it won't be that overly chocolate milky. Just for visibility's sake, making it a little bit. Yeah, you can see that material flows out very, very smoothly. And there's already some nice little chunks there showing up, along with those little pieces. And knock those big ones out. Oh, it's very nice looking little bit of gold showing up there to kick us off on this beginners. So you saw that washed down very, very cleanly. And check that out. So yeah, if you were if you were beginning your uh, <laughs> your gold journey, I think it'd be a, a lot more exciting seeing that than a uh, golden pay dirt that you'd already would have seen the ads plastered everywhere you looked when you were first looking for gold pay dirt, since that seems to be the first thing that comes up about on every search. Is that or some kind of eBay crap? So, all right, well, that was not not too tough to get through. So let's go ahead and take out some of our lighter, I mean, uh, smaller stuff, the less than kitchen strainer. And you can see it's got a little bit of, it's got a little bit of color in that water there, but not, not too bad. So that rinses off pretty easily. Of course, I've got more in this pan than you'd probably want to start with as a beginner. But again, it's light, so give it the good shake to stratify it down each every every few dips. Give it, make sure you get that gold chance to stay down below those little riffles. This stuff's flowing off very easily. It's it's fine like like the uh kind of like his beach sand dirts are, but those have those are much darker. This is just more of a sandy sandy loam type material i guess i forgot about the magnet i guess we could run in and do a little dip with the net for the next one and we'll see if it's i would not expect it would be too much black sand in this for a beginner bag. Other than maybe a little bit that might be just a naturally occurring amount or something, some little bit of hematite or something. It's getting down pretty close. I saw a little bit of gold showing up on that corner. Washes down easy enough there. Look at that. That's some that's some nice gold in that small uh less than kitchen strainer size material. I guess that's the lower end of our of a, of a 12 mesh. 
but yeah you can see that stuff the, the darker sand rinses away pretty easily from the rest so it is not a it is not a heavy magnetite based <laughs> material in there with this very nice of some again always beautiful when you're getting the gold nuggets stuff big or small it is some awesome gold but yes indeed where's our, there's our snuffer I guess there's not much point of running the magnet <laughs> I don't think we're gonna that 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 kind of says it all what we have in the pan but we'll still we'll give it a look all right we'll give it a little well there is a little bit in there so it shakes down So it's not not that much as it first appears, and it's some larger grains too. So just enough to have a little bit of little representation there. <laughs> what are you are you are you here to help? Are you back to help? My boy? You back to help my boy? Yeah. So, that amount there is probably more what most people would be best to start off your panning with is a, a couple of tablespoons full, even if it's, even if it's not loaded with magnet, magnetics and metallics, it, uh, it's easier to go through and control and see what you're doing with a little less material loaded up in your pan. And the good thing about this is that you've always got your gold trapped right there. So if it gets away from you, you've got it in your catch pan. You just dump it back in and go through it again. So there's... No risk of washing it away. Unlike being on the stream when you're ripping through those things and you could be you could be washing out a, a nice big chunk of gold before you know it. But by that time those guys are pretty well experienced with not letting that happen. So there you go, even with that, uh, even with just a smaller amount in there, you can see there's a couple of nice, couple of nice little flakes. And again, that gives you more experience to practice your panning when you do it in less amounts and gives you more, more chances of finding gold instead of getting it all out at one time <laughs> so that's always that's that that is the most fun part of it is going through and seeing that shiny appear so we'll go ahead and knock this last one out And then, of course, I'll, as always, still go back through the tailings, make sure that I didn't wash something out when I'm looking down at the camera between shaking and stratifying and, and dipping. <laughs> and a big thank you to you guys on the buying the um 
Blood Bayou Nightmare Pay Dirt. Uh, the first couple of vials that went out have gone have been the the nightmare version with the because like I said you can get it with the where it's a little little bit easier on you. It's the the red clay is hard enough as it is with the little bit of heavies in there before you start really toughing it up with the when you got some of that fine gold to get out of there. But um yeah the first the first couple have been uh wanted the the nightmare version <laughs> so uh we'll uh hopefully we'll get a, a little video on those and uh thanks again to retired navy rob r and r for uh he'd gotten the one of the regular pay dirts from before. I did a nice little video on that. It's on my uh, community page there. So we'll, uh... But yeah, I got a, I got a, still a couple more available. Basic bottles like seventy five bucks and ten dollars shipping, and uh, you're still gonna get a. It's over. It says the, the description says point eight five, but it's almost always a. I, I allow extra for the shipping, and uh, so usually it's gonna be a gram or better, and and on the better side, point one, point two over. So the gram. So it's. Uh, I said it has a it has a, a good ROI on it, but it's uh, like I said even even if it's just the the regular blood by you without the nightmare version, it's uh, it's still some pretty tough stuff, <laughs> but it's doable. The nightmare version is much more uh, demanding, you might say. <laughs> Oh wait, where's my new squirt bottle? I keep it hidden underneath all the stuff so it won't rot out in the sun as quickly maybe this time around as the other ones have. Except it's it's it's, it's a lot smaller than my uh, first ones were. I thought it was ordering the same size as a, for the whatever it was, six and a half inch or eight inch, whatever it said, but that was like counting the stem and everything else on it whereas my other my other ones the bottles themselves were actually almost eight inches so but it'll uh it'll work it holds enough so again you saw how much Black sand was in this whenever before we started on this last pan since I did it all together and uh it's uh a little bit up there at the top holding but nothing that would be too hard for a a beginner to get through what I was looking for was to see if there's going to be any little fine super fine gold that would be in here just for the the heck of introducing them to it and i am seeing a couple of little tiny tiny specks right there see those see the little specks up there there's two three of them that were in the bottom of that black sand at the end so yeah you'd have uh you'd have a little introduction to couple of tiny tiny specks of gold to find and then again there's a few more right underneath the the gold right there I'd seen so very nice I know I'd be I'd be pretty excited about that as a 
in a beginner bag, I believe. I was seeing my first gold. <clears throat> All right, well, I'm going to swap this out and get go back to the tailings real quick. I'm pretty sure nothing got past me on this one, but you never take that for granted. No, no more fine gold showing up in there. So, all right, let's check it out and see. Well, the tailings looked good. <clears throat> there was nothing to be found in those. So we got all of our beginner gold here. That rinsed out good, although there's not too, anything too small to be sticking in there. All right, very nice. And there were small stuff down in here. Okay, everything's at the top. Let's go ahead and snuff her out all that black. Yeah. Keep that out of our our off our scale. Actually, my scale has started juking out on me. I think I'm going to have to. My bottle's running out too. But I put in new batteries, and it showing my 20 gram weight is weighing at six grams, and I I don't I don't know what's going on with it. I I had some. Uh, gold that I had to let's see there's a speck that we did wash down right there uh, had to weigh out and so uh, after it was turned off and sitting there I turned it on it's still the my it was showing my weight at 1.96 or 9 something it was it wasn't ever uh, coming out to 20 grams equal even so uh but i do know at least i knew it was at least that the over only you know less than a tenth off so i just put in over for that and allowing for it but i it, it sits there protected all the time there's no reason for it to be gizmo stop it to be uh screwing up like that but i guess maybe just out of a couple of years of using it every week, at least it's, I don't know, but yeah, apparently I'm going to have to get a new scale. I was trying to find one of my old ones that I had. I know I gave one of them away, but I think I still had another one somewhere, but there we go. So as I was saying, I'm going to, I'm not sure how accurate I'll be getting the weight on this. Uh, we'll see, but check out some beautiful, beginner bag gold from gold nuggets sales again you see the it's got the, the the bike with the training wheels on it there for the for the learner i thought that was i thought that was cute yeah but it's some very nice chunky little pieces of gold that would not that would not look bad in your little glass vial to start out your journey so awesome mike once again you put out oh i gotta you gotta have those lids screwed on tight or else it just doesn't just doesn't suck it up like it should so there we go speaking of sucking it up how pathetic is it that they kick mccarthy out and then they want to reinstate another rhino right back in i mean steve scalise is 
he's from New he's from Louisiana. You know, he's uh, uh he's not as bad as McCarthy. He survived the the Bernie Sanders uh leftist shooter that shot up the again the the uh, demonic delusional warped left shooting up the Republican you know softball field that years back there in 19 18 whenever it was but still he survived but uh no Jim, you know Donald Trump has endorsed Jim Jordan so what do these pathetic GOP scum do but nominate somebody else you know instead of getting behind the guy that has a 60 point lead over their worst uh you know America's you know worst enemy which is Joe Biden but uh damn it I think I just sucked up my gold into the wrong <laughs> into the wrong pile okay I gotta redo that I just I sucked it up with the bottle that I sucked up all the uh yeah dirt with that doesn't help much so yeah these uh these morons you know the American people even <laughs> I just saw a uh a survey they did of twenty percent of Democrats say that they will now vote for Trump from ranging from possibly to quite strongly. Uh, and, and, and like the, it was 20% overall, like 16% of it was, was, will strongly, you know, you know, expect to be voting for Trump over Biden. So they are, uh, like I said, they're just losing it. And that was before the, that's before we saw the scum out, you know, in the streets supporting a demonic, you know, barbarian, uh, terrorists beheading babies and, uh, you know, leaving families massacred in their homes and calling it a, <laughs> calling it resistance. But, uh, that's it. But that's it. They're, they are all, it shows the uniparty in its full glory that they would, the GOP base is supports Trump, you know, independence, the majority of Americans even, that aren't GOP support Trump now over Biden. And then what do they do is they want to put somebody in there. That's a, a pathetic, uh, you know, neocon, you know, warmonger like the rest of them. Uh, that's the big donor, big donor class, uh, candidates. So hopefully that'll, uh, they'll work that out and, and Jordan will get in there. Not that he's, uh, you know, the end all be all, but I, I trust him more than these other some bitches. So, all right, let's get this dried up and we'll see, uh, we'll see if the scale is going to be accurate for us today or not. Well, all right, we've got our dried beginner gold. Why, so why am I not getting a good? I just had some very nice little pieces of gold there. So I'm going to I guess I'll see if this scale can get close today. I don't know what I'm going to do about or I'm going to order another scale, I guess. But uh, so let's kick it on. See if it's going to work. It's got new batteries in it. I see it was thinking. Now see it's already moving. Yeah, we get 19.9 plus grams, almost 19.9 and a half before it starts juking. So now if it'll, it's moving 0 0.3, 0 0.2. All right, we're tearing out at zero. So there we have 0.57. So and it's moving about two tenths. So we're well over 5.55 grams on our on our jukey little scale here. So a beautiful, beautiful amount of gold. And uh he like said it's uh well uh, well well worth it, I think, for a a half gram bag of uh testing the waters if you wanted to try this stuff out so 
Hold on just a second and we'll see what our what our ROI came out on this. And here we have a very beautiful pile of gold from Gold Nugget Sales. And again, you can see there's a nice little variety of sizes and shapes in there. Some beautiful, beautiful color. A couple little tiny specks just for good measure. So uh, just what just what you'd expect from the the awesome company that is Gold Nugget Sales. So, like I said, I paid thirty seven ninety five for the bag on this, uh, with our point five five six grams recovered, and that's an estimate. I mean, I think that's pretty close though for what I got for the scale. Uh, that gives us a thirty two dollar and fifty three cent value on this gold. On the day I purchased it, it was at eighteen. Hundred and nineteen dollars and fifty cents. So it's gone up considerably today. It's you know the cost is up, up seventy dollars an ounce. But for the time of the day it was purchased, that gives us an eighty six percent ROI. So you uh, you can't ask for better than that on a little half gram beginner's bag of gold and uh, some beautiful gold at that. And I, like I said they. They, they they never disappoint out of there. <laughs> so thank you again, Gold Nugget Sales, for putting out just some awesome product that I am certainly always happy to to get and uh, check out the gold from because it is beautiful. Well, that will bring this episode of Bayou Gold Guy to an end. I am Bayou Gold Guy, and I can say you, you could do a lot worse than starting out your gold journey with a bag of the Gold Nugget Sales Beginner Pay Dirt or any of the bags of the Gold Nugget Sales Pay Dirts. I, I, I started my journey, I think, was uh, one of my first ones I got from him was the uh, High Grader, which was a uh, very awesome <laughs> painter to do and uh that's that was uh years ago now and uh unfortunately that has is not gizmo stop it it uh that is not around anymore mike said it might might be coming back sometime we'll see but uh he's got an, an awesome variety uh to choose from uh you contrast that with i just got the notice for gold bay with their new website up and uh, uh, again, four, four bags of pay dirt. It's all he's offering the, the 15 gram, the, the five gram, the three gram, the one gram. And that, that, that's your selection. You can easy, easy, easy. You can buy a lot of different nuggets and stuff that he has on there, but they not nothing like it used to be as far as selections of pay dirt. So uh, the awesome variety of stuff that Mike has, um, and on top of that, nuggets um, and of different types, whether it's the, the leaf gold or the, the, the uh, crystallized or the quartz or any number of things. So definitely check that out. And uh, uh, let's see, I guess that's, uh, we'll, uh, we'll be uh, doing something different next week. We'll see what, we'll see what comes up. I'm, uh, these days, I don't know from week to week. We'll, we'll see what we have, but. Uh, we should be, we'll be doing the uh, giveaway for the, where is, what did I do with it there? I forgot to mention before, the the Halloween, where's my camera? There it is, the Halloween Blood Bayou giveaway. And uh, I thought it'll, like I said, it'll be at least a quarter gram, probably close to a half gram on that one for the, the live chat giveaway. And uh, there you go. So. Again, uh, very a very somber week dealing with the tragedy of the atrocities that we had to witness on the and of all the things that I saw that came out from there, actually see uh, Christian Broadcasting uh, Network, CBN, the 700 Club, have some of the better uh, clips on YouTube as far as showing stuff that's not blurred out, that's showing the you know the the details of 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 the stuff that you're not seeing on the mainstream, uh, you know, 
scumbag fake news. Um, and even they have had been forced just like the Democrats to acknowledge the, uh, the atrocities of this going on and, uh, how again it is beyond, but the worst, the, 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 the thing that grabbed me the most was the, uh, 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 terrorist with a, it, it couldn't have been more than a one year old infant sitting there holding this, holding this baby. And it's looking up at him and uh, just knowing the atrocities are going to be committed on that child by that, you know, again, just barbaric subhuman is uh, it, 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 it boils your blood. And again, we're uh, yeah, well, we're not even at this point. I don't consider these people to be loss of human life. I consider it to be eradication of a uh, pestle of a pestilence and a, uh, a pure vermin, uh, invasive species, whatever you want to call it, that it needs to be eradicated. So, uh, again, uh, you two may get me on this one for uh, being blunt on it, but uh, and another, another thing you need to remember is what uh, stunned me was that as these, again, these barbarians were, were, were assaulting a, a city that has been under assault for, you know, decades and decades, that these people have have you know you know rooms that they hide in in their homes against the missiles, but uh, they're unarmed. The, the Israeli people are unarmed because of the strict gun rules that the uh, government puts out. Uh, I just always assumed if you lived there that you had an arsenal in your house. That the, uh, if you're you you know in in an Israeli society, whenever you graduate high school, you go and serve two years in the Israeli District Defense Force to be to be a a citizen, uh, to 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 validate your citizenship in as an Israeli. Uh, something that I think that would not be a bad thing for uh, some type of some type of service like that for uh, in America, and especially when you see the dullards and just the the wastes of skin that they're putting out now as as kids that we have coming up that are you know, literally, you know, just again, not beyond dullards, uh, you know, just an, an insult to humanity basically because they are so stupid. Uh, at least that would give them something, but yeah, they, uh, it's like these, 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 these are, this is a society that knows how to handle guns and are trained every one of them for at least two years and yet are not allowed to have, Weapons, yeah, I, you know, to defend themselves in their homes. I, I, I was just stunned by that because I expected there would have been a. Just imagine how many dead terrorists would have been piled up in the streets trying to get into these homes if they had been armed. So let that be a lesson to America: do not let these leftists that support these terrorists that are, that are you know, you know, behind Pakistan, and uh, you know, the 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 scum that uh, that breeds that is bred from that, take your guns away because. Those same scum terrorists are in our country right now, and they have. Uh, and, and and the head of uh, Hamas has called for attacks across the, the 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 country, the world, and in America on October thirteenth, which is the day this video is premiering. So, Friday the thirteenth. Hopefully, uh, that that call was not heeded, and if it is, uh, again these uh, these rabid, you know, scum will be taken out before they can uh, inflict more carnage on innocent innocent lives around the world and will act as a rallying cry for even more people to, you know, just literally stomp out this pestilence. So that's it. We've had enough of this. Like I said, it is time to uh, put down the Nazi Islam state once and for all. And they have shown that they are modern Nazis. So just like the people of Germany, you know, oh, we're not all Nazis. Well, you know, <laughs> you were there with the Nazis. So you are, you know, you know, you're going to get what you're going to get what comes to you. And the same thing with these scum uh, that, you know, embrace Islam and say, oh, well, all Islam's not terrorists. Yeah, well, from what we've seen, it is. And uh, it's just, you know, just because you're not committing atrocities right now doesn't mean that it won't happen. So denounce, denounce this bullshit. You want to be an American, but uh, yeah, we uh, we we you know religion and murder cults are two different things. This is a murder cult, a Nazi murder cult at that. And uh, okay, that's it. So 
Till the next time, best of luck to all of you. Our hearts go out to Israel and all the innocents, the 33 Americans that died there, the Americans that are being held now and, and subject to the torture and atrocities by these barbarians. Uh, you know, uh, this that, that uh, we our hearts go out to them. So keep that in mind. Don't let them take your guns. And until the next time, thank you all for watching. Peace out, my friends.